Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Weekly Vlog. As you can see by the title below, yeah, I got, I got I got some several things to talk about for this week. Um, just want to you know throw this out first, of course, though that not every vlog will be as you know long as the last one. While some may be longer, some may be shorter. It with there's no limit to the time for these vlogs. It really just depends. You know, one week I may have a lot more things to talk about, while others may not have as much but for those super long ones or even for the short ones if you guys you know don't feel like it i know the struggle i know the struggle at times when you're watching a vlog or watching just a video in general and there's something that comes up or a certain subject or something that you don't really care about but you might like something later on in the video i know the struggle like just literally going through each of the time like hmm okay no I, he's still talking about this. She's still talking about that. There, that's what I want to listen to, you know, want to see and everything. So, in the description below, I will have, uh, you know, times for each of the new, when there's a new subject I'm talking about um, down there. So, if you guys don't care about something that I'm talking about, you know, currently, you can just go look in the description below and click to the next subject if you want to hear about that one and everything. But, yeah, just wanted to throw that out for you guys first off, honestly. Um, another thing is this, <laughs> I know this, this video was supposed to come out like way before I was actually planning on putting it out way before, but ended up being pretty damn busy as finals is coming up for school and I was pretty busy and didn't really have the time until finally now I am able to, you know, make this vlog. So sorry about that. Sorry about, you know, for it to coming out late. Every so often, certain videos and everything, for me, if, you know, since right now, at least, school is pretty much ending soon, a lot of things, got a lot of projects, got a lot of tests coming up, so some of these videos may, you know, take longer to come up if you guys were wondering why, but if it does, usually I do put it on my Facebook or Twitter if it is late or not, but yeah, let's get on to the vlog. What crazy things did I see this week? Well, the first one was actually today or yesterday for you guys now. And that was the fact that you guys know, like, I, I forget how many um, seasons ago, but I watched Real Life. And when I watched Real Life, I was, I was pretty surprised when the first episode came out. Literally, the whole season came out. I was like, uh, okay, that that's new. That's weird. But it was really good. I actually really enjoyed watching real life and i was kind of sad because you know it ended in the spot where you know there was no conclusion it didn't end yet i've been hoping i've been hoping for a second season for the longest time and guess what it was announced that there will be a sequel a four episode finale for the whole thing it sucks that's what sucks only four episodes i really would love like a full you know like 20 12 episodes or 24 i mean can't i'm not too sure like how much the source material goes on for i'm guessing four episodes may be enough hopefully it is you know because i don't want no half-ass kind of stuff where they just decide to end it in a certain way hopefully these you know four episodes is all it needs because i don't i really did enjoy watching the first season of real life and i did want some closures so I, i'm honestly super happy that there is going to be a, a second season to it i can't really call it a whole season because it's only four episodes another sad thing besides it being four episodes is the fact that we have to wait till march 2018 <sighs> i guess we just gotta wait for that but honestly it, it sucks that we have to wait a whole practically a whole year but i'm still happy just knowing that there is going to be at least a conclusion to that because i actually really did enjoy real life and if you guys are looking for an anime to watch and you haven't watched real life yet I definitely recommend going to watch it like it's already over obviously or i mean the season's over already and when the first when the season came out i pretty much was in your shoes and the fact that i literally binged watched the heck out of it when it came out because all the episodes came out really weird i know i don't know why they did that i i should have looked it up on why but i actually don't know if you guys do know the reasons why they did that then yeah feel free to comment below on that or maybe i did know i don't know i don't really remember but yeah, definitely recommend watching that if you haven't watched it yet. It was a good anime. I definitely did enjoy it and definitely excited for the next season. But yeah, now let's start on the next subject. This one, some people may want to skip here because it's not really anime, you know, manga, light novel, any of that kind of related. This one is more of something that just is, is deals with video games, obviously. 
despite the fact that's what it is. It is esports. I love esports. I watch League of Legends. I watch, you know, some Counter Strike, Halo, Call of Duty, um, Smash. I, I just watch a whole bunch of esports, honestly. Sometimes I watch Smite, sometimes I watch Gears of War. It, it, it's every so often I'll watch a certain one, but the main one that I usually always watch is League of Legends because. I mean, I do love playing League of Legends, I do love watching it, so... Yeah, the thing is, though, that I am only a silver, so don't go like, Oh, stream it, stream it, we want to see your super good plays. No, that's not going to happen. I am, unfortunately, only a silver. <laughs> but still, um, I love the game, I've played it since, like, frick, I don't know. 2011, 2012, something, 2012, I think. And I've been watching the esports since then as well. And I've always loved watching League of Legends esports. I've watched it since season two. And my favorite team of all time, literally since I begun watching it, has been TSM, Team Solo Mid. If you guys see my game channel, I even did like a unboxing of like their jacket that they had to which actually, hold on. Here it is. I actually still have it, still wear it every so often. Got that TSM logo on it right there. Um, honestly, my favorite team. Um, of all time, even though sure North America isn't the best region, obviously, I still enjoy always watching it. This weekend, just Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday was, of course, the North American League of Legends Spring Playoff Final. So we got to see the third place match, um, and of course, the match to see who would be first, which was the third one between um, FlyQuest and Phoenix One. Honestly, I like FlyQuest a lot. You know, I love their team because before it used to be High Balls and Lemon were on the original Cloud9 team and I absolutely love them. And after seeing them reverse sweep CLG in the quarterfinals, I was super, super excited to see them. Um, unfortunately, they lost to TSM, but I'm actually happy about that, obviously, because TSM is my favorite team. FlyQuest is more like second, maybe third, because I do like Cloud9 a lot too, but... You know, not as much since with their new roster. I do like Smoothie. I do like Sneaky on Cloud9. Um, Jensen's okay, but I don't really care for everyone else. Contracts, he's just a newbie. He's a good newbie, a good rookie and everything. But, yeah, and then the top lane is just Koreans. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, so I was super excited to see how this one would be. I expected FlyQuest to win, to which it goes. Phoenix 1 winning the first game. FlyQuest winning the two next games. I thought, okay, FlyQuest got this. Nope. Phoenix 1 ends up winning the next two games, thus, unfortunately, FlyQuest ends the season 4th. But hey, that's pretty crazy considering a lot of people, pretty much most people, thought they would end up in 10th place. And they didn't think they would even make playoffs. They proved them wrong. They got to playoffs. Then they didn't think they would beat CLG. Proved them wrong once again. So, from being, you know, everyone saying that to be 10th place, to being 4th place in the playoffs, hey, top, you know, Hats off to them, because literally, that was, honestly, they played amazingly. Even though the first half was amazing, second half not as good, still ended up strong in fourth place, which, hey, out of all of them being, considering, like I said, they were considered a 10th place team at the beginning of the season, I would say that's pretty much a huge accomplishment. But, of course, the major one that I actually ended up watching on Sunday, the main thing that I loved, of course, because I said I love TSM, was TSM versus Cloud9, to which, of course, TSM win the first two games, literally just demolishing Cloud9. I was like, game over, TSM's gonna win 3-0, no doubt about it, you know? I was wrong. Third game comes up, literally, it was a game of them throwing back and forth, honestly, and it looked like TSM was gonna win. I was full on like, TSM, once again, winners of the finals i think they, they've already won four out of the eight and now because of you know sunday um five out of the nine now so they won more than half of the turn of the finals already and they've been to every single final so that just shows how strong tsm is even when they've changed of course their you know the members of the team from how it was in the very beginning but still tsm remains supreme but it got a little scary honestly i'm not gonna lie Third game ended up going to Cloud9. Fourth game, literally Cloud9 dismantled TSM. And that's where I was like, holy shit, is TSM going to lose? Are they actually going to get reverse sweet? I was literally at the edge of my seat throughout that whole game five. So nervous. I've actually, besides, you know, tests and stuff, I've never been that nervous in front of a damn computer screen before. 
but that changed it right there. Literally, so many fights. It was such an intense game five with TSM narrowly being able to beat Cloud9 in that final fight and just going straight down and winning the game when they won. I literally jumped up. I was like, yes, TSM, man. Literally, my favorite team. There's so much hype for that, and I was so excited. Now we're going to get to see them play at MSI, which I'm not, I forget when. I think it's this month or no, not this month because this month's going to end already. I think next month. Either next month or next week. I'm not too sure. I forget for sure. I got to check that out. But yeah, it's really all I got to say for this subject. Absolutely sorry if you guys don't care much about esports. But I wanted to talk about that as I really do enjoy, you know, League of Legends esports. And especially TSM being my favorite team. But yeah, let's talk about the next subject which I actually found. Like I've been seeing, you know, it coming up every so often now lately. And that is on the virtual YouTuber, Kizuna Ai. So, um, how do I feel about that? Well, at first I was kind of like, okay, that's kind of weird, honestly. But then I thought about it. I mean, we already got virtual, you know, pop stars and stuff. So, but so, you know, how could, how bad could a virtual YouTuber be? Ended up going to the, you know, channel, watching a couple of videos. And I'm not going to lie, I ended up really enjoying her. End up really, she's super adorable. I love watching her videos. I already watched Let's Play, you know, videos from other YouTubers and stuff. So I was like, you know what, let's see how these, you know, videos are. And then I ended up watching one, ended up watching two, and it just went more and more until I was like watching a whole bunch of her videos. And um, honestly, I actually really like it. And hey, it's the future, guys. We're all, you know, it's all going to be machines and artificial intelligence and stuff like that. And it's the start. Oh, no. Now we have virtual YouTubers. <laughs> but um, not going to lie. You should go check it out. Um, I honestly did like, you know, watching her video and everything. Um, It was pretty interesting, to say the least. When I first watched it, I was like, okay, she's cute. Yeah. Okay, this could be interesting. And then, yeah, it's actually like... A regular YouTuber, just instead of it being a real person, it's, you know, a virtual person and everything. To which I think it's pretty funny too, her name is Kizuna Ai, as in AI kind of thing. So I thought that was pretty cute as well. She's cute. Um, the gameplay is pretty funny as well, considering it's a virtual kind of thing. Um, not a real person being shown. So I was like, yeah, that, I mean, it like her reactions, her everything is actually pretty funny. So... Yeah, I definitely, if you guys want, if you never checked it out yet, definitely go and check that out. I'll leave that, you know, a link to that channel in the description as well. Because honestly, I was completely surprised when I saw it. When I first saw it, like, popping up on, like, Crunchyroll and stuff like that, I was like, that sounds kind of weird. And then I really thought about it more, went to go and give it, you know, the, the channel a try and watching some of the videos. And now I'm actually subscribed. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually subscribed now and I'm actually watching those videos. <laughs> so, hey. Things can change a lot and definitely would recommend going to at least check it out. Definitely at least check it out. I know maybe some of you are like kind of like, why the hell would I watch a virtual YouTuber? But trust me, you, you may want to go check it out because you may end up really liking it as well. If you don't, then hey, sorry about sorry for sending you there, but you got to at least try, you know. Um, But yeah, that's all I really got to say about that subject. I mean, all I could really say is literally that I was surprised and I did enjoy it. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> um, let's go on to the next subject, which is on... I actually got something new today. Or, not today, yesterday, now. Um, and that is actually, I got some light novels. I actually literally just been going and buying so many light novels. My manga list, um, not as big, honestly. But I actually really enjoy reading light novels. And considering I've been watching the, not, the side story, pretty much, of Don Machi... Um, Sword Oratoria, and uh, the second episode honestly kind of disappointed me. So I ended up watching, like, been watching a bunch of clips from the first season and everything, and ended up kind of like missing and wanting to see what happens next. So I ended up, of course, going to Barnes and Nobles since I have one here. I always just love going to the bookstore. Honestly, it sucks that bookstores are practically going extinct. I don't even know that much bookstores I don't even know of Barnes and Nobles at the moment I only have one Barnes and Nobles here so that's pretty sad it's not the closest thing in the world for, to me so yeah that sucks but yeah ended up getting this one and this one these two both come out like they're like both after the 
you know the events that happened in the first um, the first season. So there's these two, and there's actually one coming out in a couple of days. So I got a lot to read, honestly. But I was super excited. I was like, you know, I loved the first season a lot. I want to see the main story. Like, sure, Sword Oratoria is okay. Second episode really disappointed me, but maybe it'll get better. But if it ends up not doing good, if it ends up not having a second season, please don't let that happen because I really, 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 really want a second season. At least I have the light novels. At least I know where the story will go. So I'll probably end up reading those. Maybe after I finish reading it, I'll talk about how I felt about it as well in a, in a video or something. Maybe like a... I've never done that, but maybe do a light novel review or something like that along those lines. I'm not too sure. That would be pretty interesting, right? I don't know. If you guys think so, feel free to comment below on that. But yeah, honestly, I was... Like when I went to the Barnes & Nobles, I was like, holy shit, there's actually two of them already? And there's a third one coming out? Literally, and these, are, these aren't... These are these aren't thin look at that that's pretty damn thick so i got a lot to read so that's pretty good <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say um real life super excited for that to have a second season super happy tsm ended up winning i know that's probably like the biggest part of this video so if you don't care about esports sorry about that but you know that's something i really wanted to talk about then of course kizuna i definitely a surprise there for me um really enjoyed her channel and can't wait to see more videos from that one definitely definitely encourage you to at least go give it a try and then of course my i guess like i'm not going to do this every week obviously because i don't have money to be buying every you know every single week but i'll probably have like a little section of what did i buy for the week you know and of course last week i showed you what i bought another light novel um and then this week i got two more light novels and everything i saw that there was volume two for sword oratoria but I was kind of iffy if I should get it considering I'm not really caring for... I didn't care for the second episode. So who knows? What if it ends up being bad and then I don't want to waste money on, you know, that second light novel, the second volume. So I'll hold off on that, that one at least. But yeah, that's all I really got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's Anime Kingdom vlog. If you have any questions or comments on anything that I talked about during this vlog, feel free to comment below and I can, you know... I'll try and comment. I always try and comment back as much as possible to, every, you know, reply to every single person. So, you know, feel free to comment below your thoughts on any of those things that I did talk about. And like I said before, if there's, you know, anything that you want me to talk about when you, that you find something crazy during the week, then feel free to go and, you know, go on Twitter or my Facebook and, you know, tweet me or reply to me on Facebook or something message me that you want me to talk about this certain thing and I'll try and you know check it out and maybe I'll end up talking about it as well but yeah it's all I really gotta say um once again I gotta say shout out to my man Napsman if you didn't um no if you didn't see from like the previous week that he ended up you know don't um, not donating pledging five dollars to me on my Patreon and that's why now you'll see his name at the end of the credits. Um, end of the credits. My ending of my videos. And of course, also, I'll give a shout out every week. I'm trying to decide, like, do, do I shout out every week for them? For anyone who does that? It seems right, because, like, you're paying for that for the whole month. And it, it would seem weird just to do only one week. So, yeah, once again, shout out to you. Thank you for this. Um, with, with If it wasn't for him, literally, these vlogs would not be coming out, so... Thank him for sure, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom vlog. Um, if you did enjoy it, if you have a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And until next time, guys, see ya. Yeah.